hey guys welcome back to my channel so i wasn't able to get a before um video clip so i just wanted to insert a photo of um her hair prior to blow drying and this is her hair stretched out as you can see i've already started we're doing the half up half down look um the back is going to be individual braids and the front is going to be cornrows like the tribal style the melanated braided look you know perfect you know for the summer and you know hopefully the summer is not cancelled and we can still rock our hair and still slay because of all this stuff going on but yeah you guys so um as you can see i am just slicing and dicing the hair i'm trying to do the boxes but really with this particular style i don't think it's like necessary you don't have to and it doesn't have to be like to by the block you know um so yeah just kind of do your best at the back because most likely people just wear it as is they don't really put this style up in a bun it's more like a half up half down look so they really are not gonna see the inside um but yeah if you want a full look in order to get a really really full look with this kind of hairstyle you're gonna have to make sure that the back section where you do your individual braids is a lot and it's full and you have a lot more braids there. If you want more of a scantier look, then you can do bigger boxes or bigger triangles or whatever shape you do decide to do for the back portion of this look. So blow drying her hair really helped a lot because it kind of like loosened up the texture a bit and just made it easier and less painful for us to kind of part through so if you do have clients that have like a fuller texture you know 4c like you know texture um try blowing out the hair first before you start to braid because it'll make it look easier and just have a more um pain-free experience for your client uh so yeah I'll try and put the links to blow dryers that I recommend. You can either get the ones that it's kind of like you kind of hold it at the tail end and it's almost it almost looks like a comb in a way and with like some wide tooth in the you know on the edge where you actually used to blow it out. I think that's easier for braiders to use or you can use a more like um, traditional blow dryer and just add that comb mount at the tip. So I find that when braiding or corn rolling natural hair, especially if you want to have the illusion of a feeding technique, I've noticed that your grip is very, very important because it can make all the difference between making the hair look old versus just making it look, you know, nice, neat, presentable. If you ask me what I recommend for people with coarser hair textures, like the 4C texture, I would recommend Ghana braids because it lasts longer. I have honestly by textbook I have a 4B texture but what I you know associate with is 4C just because of stubbornness um, and society standards <laughs> don't ask um, and when I get 
cornrow hairstyles they don't hold up as long like literally my hair gets messy within like a week and it's not because the braider doesn't know how to braid it's not because you know they don't know what they're doing it's just natural hair tends to freeze up quicker and it's it, it doesn't look as neat when you do regular feeding technique on them um and this is even after blow drying even after flat ironing and if you guys have any recommendations i'm actually very open to it because i've tried a lot of things that's why i ended up resulting to doing the ghana technique when i do cornrows on clients with more of a coarser texture hair because it holds longer for them and they get their money's worth in terms of like you know longevity and, and things like that um because the reason why i say it holds longer is that natural hair whenever you, let's say you're taking a shower perhaps you forgot your um shower cap or whatever you use during the shower or water touches your hair or even just steam from the shower you know while you're in there it could revert your hair your natural hair and starts making it you know curl up uh, which gives the illusion of like an older braids than someone with more of like a looser curl pattern or someone with relaxed hair you know texture um so yeah that's this is that's what i'm referring to and a lot of people don't like to talk about this because people you know we are obviously naturally very sensitive in terms of our hair textures and things like that especially us with like more of a coarser hair texture and i think i talked about this in another video a long time ago um when i did some lemonade braids on someone with um 4c like really really kinky 4c hair um, we had the discussion and a lot of people came for me and was just like blah 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 you know whatever I don't even read the comments when people start you know not being constructive um, I, but yeah if you have any you know uh, suggestions I'm open so um, she decided she didn't want the Ghana technique because she likes the fitting um, technique better which is perfectly fine i think it's more suitable for this hairstyle anyways um and yeah so we ended up doing the regular feeding technique what i ended up doing while doing her hair i wasn't able to get the footage because you know we we're taking really long with this hairstyle because you know there was a lot going on that day um so anyways so what i did was i first of all blew out the hair generally so i sectioned the hair off and then blew it out stretch it out like all together like in sections and then as i'm braiding after i did the back section when i started working at the top i sectioned it into two sections as you can see right now and when i before i started working on the actual corner roll section in the front i would take the blow dryer and like run it through the hair and then I would you know part and then braid so blow it up first to kind of stretch it because sometimes when you stretch it before you start braiding when you get to the top it kind of reverts back because that's what natural hair does it reverts um, so you want to like you know go back in again um, and you know do what you can and, and other things clients can do to kind of help out is um you can have them you know stretch out their hair before they come if they don't want to put heat on their hair ask them to stretch their hair before their appointment you know let them wash it at home stretch it out you know how they normally would stretch it out you know whatever they're comfortable with some people like to do twists and come to their appointments with twists and then i don't twist their hair and it's to kind of stretch it out before i start to braid um you could do that and then you can kind of blow it out on cool air you know you can use your heat protectant as well or if um for her i use um heat to actually stretch her hers because it was it was quite coarse and i needed that stretch in order to get the cornrows to you know look and last long you know so sometimes you have to do that and sometimes that's okay just ask for permission before you do it um and make sure that they're okay with the heat and you know you can kind of play with the levels of the heat on your you know your blow dryer make sure it's not too hot make sure it's not too cool to, to where you can still get that that hair to stretch out you know as much as you possibly can but generally what i do is i just ask them to stretch their hair before they come typically clients know how their hair works so they will stretch it out properly before their appointment so that way you don't even have to go in with a blow dryer because truthfully as a hairstylist when we're working we don't really have much time like we don't have a lot of time in between appointments to stretch your hair out and i know people get really frustrated well you're a hairstylist i expect my hair to be washed and blown out you know 
before a braiding appointment braiding an average braiding appointment can take up to five to six hours okay so to wash your hair and blow it out and then start braiding some braiders don't have the luxury of that kind of a time especially when they work by themselves or some of them even work from home so not everybody has that luxury so inform your clients let them know you know blow out your hair wash your hair before your appointment and you know because this is the style you're getting i need your hair to be stretched out um but yeah but what you do not want to do is put a flat iron to the hair i don't agree with that um even when you're doing like those big fitting braids like i don't agree with that just blow it out as much as you can have them stretch the hair out as much as they can and you should be okay but as you can see i took this hair down multiple times just to make sure i can get it as neat as possible so that way it can last her as, as neat uh, you know as long as possible she um is, uh, she request requested that i do not leave out any baby hair because her hair tends to like get old quicker so we didn't leave any baby hairs because when you leave baby hairs it gives the illusion of an older look you know quicker than you know the hair normally would age so to pretty much summarize this look for you guys if you wanted to recreate the front um, all I did was part my parting curve and then I do a straight one in between do another curve and then I do a straight in between and then I do two curves um, but yeah and another issue we encountered is that her right her her left side of her head is um my hairline is a bit different on that other side so this hairstyle looks super easy but honestly they be complicated like complicated af like the left side of her head her hairline is a bit different from the right side of her hairline so when i tried to part a certain way that i parted in the opposite side it was you guys we had to take the hair down so many times and redo them because it was kind of hard to like mimic because some areas were sparse so i had to kind of you know overextend the parting a little bit just to compensate you know these are things that we don't talk about <laughs> but um yeah these are things that happen you know sometimes and you have to just be patient and do the best that you can literally and don't frustrate yourself because i was getting really frustrated anyway so what i'm doing is adding some mousse dip the hair in hot water and she's good to go i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comment. I'll be reading them. I read them. Trust me. Even your rude comments, I read them too. Yep. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, can't wait. I'm looking forward to putting up my next tutorial. Have a merry day and God bless.